today we are going to discuss fitting a parabola or second degree polynomial by the method of least squares fitting a parabola okay so he has given the some data so the value of with the value of x is 0 the value of y is 1 with the value of x is 1 value of y is 1.8 for 2 it is 1.3 3 it is 2.5 for 4 it is 6.3 now we have a fit a parabola using the method of least squares the first point what we have to do the first point what we have to do is let the parabola equation be let the parabola be what we have to consider it as the y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square this is the parabola equation okay next what you have to do you have to consider the normal equations why you have to consider the normal equations means here if you know the a b c values you can frame a parabola to get the a b values you have to require the three normal equations you require so what are the three normal equations means sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x plus c sigma x square c sigma x square similarly sigma x y is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube okay c sigma x cube similarly sigma x square y is equal to a sigma x square plus b sigma x cube plus c sigma x power 4 c sigma x power 4 these are the three normal equation to solve the values of a b c we require the three equations these are the three equations one two and three if you come uh, compare this one with the straight line there you require the only a b values that's why they have there you have the two normal equations here you come across with the three normal equations okay now the third step is you have to prepare a table so what the table that you have to prepare means x so you write the values of x here okay similarly you have to write the values of y here the values of x are 0 1 2 3 and 4 the values of y are 1, 1.8 and 1.3 and 2.5 and 6.3. Okay, if you next what you have to do is the, if you sum the values here you are going to get the sigma x values. Okay, here you are going to get the sigma y values. Next what we require, let us consider sigma y already over, sigma x over, sigma x square therefore you come across with the x square okay now you frame these values x square next similarly you come across with the x cube also therefore you write the x cube okay next what you have to do is the you frame the x power 4 x power 4 because here you require the x power 4 values okay therefore it's x power 4 next one what you require is the sigma x y that's why you frame the x into y column similarly you frame the x square y column x square is this one y is this one so you frame the x square into y column also okay if you frame and if you add these values you are going to get the sigma x sigma y so on so values so x square values what are the different x square values you are going to get is 0, 1, 4, 9 and 16. So similarly x cube means 0 cube means 0, 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64. Similarly x power 4, x power 4 means 0 power 4, 0, 1 power 4, 1, 2 power 4, 16. So 3 power 4, 81, say 4 power 4 means 256, 256, 
similarly x into y x is this one x into y 0 into 1 0 1 into 1.8 is 1.8 next one 2 into 1.3 is 2.6 next one 3 into 2.5 is seven and half that is seven point five six point three into four that is nothing but the twenty five point two okay similarly x square into y x square x square is this one and y is this one zero into one is zero next one one into one point eight is one point eight four into one point three four into one point three is nothing but five point two similarly twenty two point five Similarly, 100.8, 100.8 you will get. So, the value of x square y is nothing but 130.3 if you sum these column. Similarly, if you x y, this is 37.1, next one x power 4, it is nothing but 354, okay. Similarly, x cube column that is nothing but 100 similarly x square column it is nothing but 30 similarly y column that is nothing but 12.9 similarly x column so it is 10 okay now we have prepared the table next fourth step what you have to do is the the value of n is equal to how much so 1 2 3 4 5 5 sets of data I has given therefore n is equal to 5 First, we prepare the first normal equation sigma y. Sigma y is equal to how much? 12.9 <coughs> is equal to 12.9 is equal to n. n stands for 5 a only. Sigma x. Sigma x stands for 10. 10 b plus sigma x square stands for 30. 30 c. This is the first normal equation. Next, what you have to do is sigma x into y that is nothing but the 37.1 37.1 is equal to a sigma x that is nothing but 10 times of a plus b sigma x square that, that is nothing but the 30 times of b plus c sigma x cube 100 times of c ok 100 times of c this is the second equation you are going to get similarly the third equation you are going to get sigma x square y that is nothing but 130.3 is equal to a sigma x square that is nothing but 30a plus sigma x cube b b sigma x cube 100 b 100 b plus c sigma x power 4 c sigma x power 4, 354 c 354 times of c this is the third equation you are going to get so if you solve these three equations using the calc the values of a you are going to get it as a is equal to 1.42 b is equal to minus 1.07 and c is equal to 0 0.55 you are going to get therefore the equation of the straight line is nothing but the y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square that is nothing but y is equal to a stands for 1.42 plus b stands for minus 1.07 times of x plus c c value is nothing but 0 0.55 into x square this is the equation of the parabola using the method of least squares okay so this includes the only five steps First one is the parabola equation, next one is the normal equations, next setting of the table, fourth one is the substituting the table values in the normal equation and solving and the finally you substitute in the parabola equation. Okay, thank you.